This is to show the way I use the potter's wheel to decorate on the wheel with a brush. In this case it's an overglaze technique. The pot's already been dipped in a white glaze. I'm brushing on a mixture of cobalt carbonate and cobalt oxide. I make that mixture because the carbonate by itself is a pink color, about the same as the bisque. Uh, and with the oxide is a black, so it shows up really well. So while I've been talking, I've busily drawn a ring on there and added a rabbit. And I just gestured with my hand to show that I like to put a couple of rabbits on the outside lined up with the rabbit on the inside. And I think that's probably true with most potters, that uh, the reason they're potters is because they're not artists. And I don't pretend to be an artist. I'm not good with my figure drawing. I mostly limit myself to drawing rabbits and a few other simple line drawings but it does uh, make for some different kinds of decorations. And as a production pottery, it takes more time than most, even though this only takes a couple of minutes to do. That's still a lot longer than I'd like to take when I'm trying to glaze a lot of pots. Here's the same idea again, but just trying to draw kind of a mountain motif, which is kind of two bumps, kind of like my peanut decoration earlier. Uh, but you can give it a little sense of perspective, adding a line in, throwing some trees on it. Uh, sometimes I'll try to draw a bird or something in the sky. But anyway, it can be fun, and certainly there are lots of colors of stains and overglazes that you can buy, so you can work with a full palette if you really are inclined that way. For me, I just like the simple lines. One thing with working, particularly with cobalt, it's the strongest colorant, and if you get any on your fingers at all while you're handling the pot, it's going to spread onto the pot. Tipping the pot upside down like that on the wheel particularly exposes you to getting little bits of stuff on the rim. So it's not uh, an easy thing to work with. It's easy to make mistakes that will make the pot turn out not nearly so nice. Here on the outside, I've chosen to just do the same stylized uh, stylized to a symbol even point uh, and I'm doing it in four places on the outside and then I'm sticking a tree in between each one, a little zigzaggy tree cook it to 2300 degrees and there's the finished bowl